Hello, hello, hello. Make sure you guys hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on my next video. Today I'm going to bring you guys my current favorites. I wouldn't say monthly favorites. It's just what I've been loving throughout the couple months that I haven't done a favorites video. I've got my little handy box here. Okay, so I'm going to go by face. Um, I have really loving Maybelline Fit Me foundations. I have two of them in the matte and poreless, and then I have two, oh, I have three in the matte and poreless, and then I have one for the dewy. As you can see, I like the matte and poreless a lot better. Um, I get really, really dark in the summer, like I jump like 10 shades, so I had to get almost the darkest shade that they had, which is the 335 Classic 10 Bronze. Um, that one was really dark. I couldn't believe I was that color. And then the lightest one that I have is 230, which is natural buff. So I got 230, and then it goes 310, and then 330, and then 335. So yeah, I really like this. Um, it's just a really good everyday foundation. Literally, I use it every single day. Um, but when I want to do glamorous makeup or, you know, going out for the night and I really want my makeup to not budge and because I'm going to be drinking and be wild, I'm just kidding, I don't do that. Um, <laughs> um, I use my Estee Lauder Double Wear. But on other occasions, this is definitely it for me. I really, really do like this. And they're so inexpensive. It's unbelievable how cheap they are. So when I got darker over the summer, I was supposed to get another concealer to match my shade but I didn't because I the concealer that I wanted um, I really wanted the uh, NARS creamy radiant concealer but it was really expensive so I was able to get a sample of this Urban Decay all nighter foundation and it was really really light because the only one they had and I was able to use it as a concealer this is shade number five and I can't believe how awesome this works as a concealer. I couldn't imagine what it would look like as a foundation. So if you ever run out of your concealer and you just want a sample of something, use the foundation as a concealer because it will last you forever. This is a generous amount. This is a five point, this is a point, this is point zero, oh my god, 0 0.1 fluid ounce. So, I mean, it's a really good size. So I use it for my concealer and I love it. So to set my concealer, I like to use my RCMA powder and my IT Cosmetics Translucent Bye Bye Pores. Uh, this is an HD micro powder. The reason why I mix these two is because this one alone gives me a really harsh white cast. I'm sure you can see here right now because I have my ring light on, but you can't see it in person. And the IT Cosmetics one is a yellow tint, so it darkens my under eyes instead of brightening it, so that defeats the purpose. So I mix these two together, and they work beautifully. Um, this one is ultra, ultra fine. It is so finely milled. You can just spread it on your skin, and it just... It feels so good. The RCMA is a little bit thicker, but it's a cheaper alternative for the Laura Mercier. A lot of people raved about this, and I like it. Um, I will definitely try out more co more colors and more powders before I definitely say this is my ultimate setting powder favorite. But at the time, it is. Right now, I really do like the way it works. So, I have been using this Wet n Wild Mega Glow Contouring Palette. I wouldn't say this is a staple piece. Like It would definitely not replace my Kat Von D one. However, it is a great drugstore alternative. This powder is a little chalky, but I wouldn't use it to set my under eye. I would use a loose powder and then I use this on top of it and it works beautifully. The bronze is really, really pretty. It is just a perfect, it doesn't have an orange tint. It has the perfect amount of ash in it and it's great for traveling. That's the only reason why I bought it. I bought it like two months ago and I've been using it every day and um, I took this to Florida with me because I didn't want to pack my Kat Von D one and this was the only one that I used because I, it was the one that I had. So I really do like this. This is awesome. Um, I am a huge fan of Wet n Wild so I do have two of their uh, color icon. This one is their blush, this is the new formulation. This one is in apricot in the middle. And then this one is rose champagne. So they're beautiful. They're really soft. But the I think I have apricot in the middle on right now. So this is a knockoff beauty blender from wish.com. My um, boyfriend he bought it for me and Oh, this one has a little dent. Okay, you can tell that it's an alcohol. Can y'all see that? He bought it for me and he was like, babe, I got you a beauty blender for $5 a piece. And I was like, honey, it's not a real beauty blender. You bought it on Wish. She goes, <laughs> he was really excited. So um, I loved it. He bought me five of them and they look 
exactly like the Beauty Blender. The only thing, this one right here, I used this one today. It's just a little bit puffier. It's more squishy and the edge doesn't completely like flat it rounds more so the original beauty blender does not look like this i mean it does but it doesn't um but it works just as well for five dollars i mean come on um i have my real technique one and i don't like it a lot of people love the real technique brush it's too hard i can't i just don't like it and i do like my knockoff beauty blender for five dollars so yes i got like five of them so to put my foundation on this brush is everything okay this is the best foundation brush i have ever used and i'm telling you it's like ten dollars if you're lucky you can find them for five dollars because when i bought them it was five dollars on aliexpress now because it's so popular it jacked up the price to ten um, i'll leave it down below if i can find it but i'll leave the video of my aliexpress down below as well it's so stiff okay it distributes the color super super evenly it's big so it you know all the way around and I really do like that um and then I have been using my Jerkins 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 wet skin moisturizer you use it in the shower before you put your lotion after you get out um so you use it oh my god so you use this when you are kind of damp like right out of the shower and then you just pat yourself dry with your towel. And these, I got them online at AliExpress. These are awesome. They're 12 brushes and I think I got them for like $5. I use, I use this is 12, so I probably use like eight out of the brushes here. Um, this one, I love it for just all over the, the lid so you can just really be messy if you wanna just get a transition shade really in there. And then this one, I use it for my crease because it's at an angle, so I'm able to just pat this into the crease to darken it up. This is a fluffy blending brush. This is a great concealer brush, but I use it to use cream shadow or anything like that. And then these two are awesome for just all over the lid color. And then this one is a great flat eyeliner brush. So yeah, these are super cheap. I do want to give a quick mention to Try Treats. Um, they sent me these two boxes, and I was supposed to do an unboxing, but I tried this, and I did not like any of the boxes. Um, I didn't like the Colombia box, and I didn't like the Brazil box. They sent me another box, which is the Germany box, which is full of chocolate, and I love that one. I'll leave that one down below. I didn't want to put something on my page I didn't like, because the box, it was just preference it just it was just honestly about preference the concept however is wonderful their customer service is on point and the concept i mean you get to try the treats around the world so i'll leave more information about them down in the down box but look at that you get you know treats you get more treats more treats they have a card you get more treats so i mean you really do get a good amount of treats for subscription so if you love food definitely check this out last but not least is my newest edition this is my Louis Vuitton um, speedy bandolier in monogram I am so in love this is definitely my number one favorites of this month um, and I got a matching wallet to go with it so really like it but I will do a more in-depth review after I wear this for a couple more months. Um, but I just love it. I take this everywhere I go. And it's just, it's beautiful. So iconic. Just love it. But anyways, that wraps up my favorites. I hope you guys enjoy. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye, guys.